clue we're about to try out pizza melt crispy and melty in three minutes or less well actually it's more like 13 minutes or less because you got preheat the oven to cook these well you gotta heat them up in the oven but it does take only like two or three minutes to cook them up so that's cool not much is to say about them you know hopefully they're awesome though We'll find out when we heat them up. 375. Going to preheat this oven. Throw some of this in there and we're going to try it out. Oh, here's something. Here's a little. What's that? Well, quality pizza since 1976. A little pilot from 19. Holy crap, it's a game. 1776. Remember that air, airplane shooting game? That's a dude. Let's do it. I'll tell you about that flies plane. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna turn this down a bit and get it to 375. Always, always wash your hands. Wash your hands before you have a treat. Wash your hands. Wash your hands before you have a feast. Add some soap. Spill some soap. And it is what it is. This is a very important method <clears throat> in case if you like to eat while watching eating videos. I hope you wash your hands. Because eating any kind of food, you should wash your hands before. Wash your hands, wash your hands. Again, let's look and see. Oh, I thought I was going to do it in my hands in there. Why for none to cut that out? Oh, crap, let's stop. Stop. Oh, that's real neat. It does come in two. So as you can see, it's like a piece of bread. It's a piece of bread, not pizza bread. Well, it is a piece of bread. But it's also a piece of bread. <laughs> it's so weird saying a piece. P I E C E of bread and pizza. P I Z Z A bread. While holding, you know, holding. I don't know what I'm saying. It's hard to say a piece of bread while holding pizza bread. But check it out. We got our oven preheated. We're ready to throw these in the. And this should. I, now this is the first time it did come with this like a um, heat up plate, but we don't. We got some styrofoam or whatever that's called. Aluminum there, so we don't really need it. Um, so this is the first time I've um, ovened something that only took place pros. So 16 minutes. Okay, I thought it'd be only two minutes. All right, 16 minutes. It says 16 minutes right there. So we're gonna put on for 16 minutes. As instructions instruct. Can't get a good view on that though. There we go. Now I got my uh, last song, Wash Your Hands, that became a viral hit in the last 20 seconds. It's stuck in my head, but like I'm trying to think of a new version of it. Hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands and go. Out your trash too. Don't work it. Alright, since I had a touch of packaging, uh, there's something else I think I had to throw out too, and I was like, I gotta wash my hands now. Oh, yeah, the fork on the stove. It was like an old fork on the stove I had to move. And I was like, ugh, oh, I gotta wash my hands again. So before I eat, what's that? Do, 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 do. Like that, three pepperoni slices on each side. It feels like. You know, feels like how it looks, like a um, garlic bread, kind of. But enough uh, talking about, sorry, this top of the microwave sticky too. What the heck's wrong with this house? But enough talking about it, let's try it out. I don't think it's really hot, I think I'd like cool off enough.
Why does that taste plain? It is a little bit garlicky. Like it has these very small hint of garlic seasoning in the bread. One thing is for sure, it's just like a, you know, regular bread, but smaller for some reason. I don't know, it's just like small, half sized bread with crust still on it. The crust is, I'm not a big fan of crust, so. Let me try a bite with this crust torn off. Look, there's so much crust on this. Even when I tear off a piece, there's not really room to bite. There's not much to bite on the inside. That's crazy. I don't like this idea that much. So, the red bar and pizza, I think that's who made this. Yeah, red bar and pizza, that's who made this. The toppings, it tastes just like a pizza from Red Baron. The only thing that tastes different is the bread underneath it. Like, that's the only difference from the regular pizzas. Now, eating this... Yeah, this will stuff me, like, this will make me feel real quick. Um, probably even just half of it will fill me up, I'm pretty sure, for a good meal. Um, but it comes in that little box, and as you see, there's only two slices of bread in there. And that was like, that was like seven bucks for that. Six to seven bucks, I'm not even kidding. I think even eight bucks, I, I just don't want to over-exaggerate the price. I'm trying to remember it correctly. But, um, not a big fan of it. In fact, there, there's some there's some weird seasoning on that bread where it's leaving like a burning sensation on my tongue, like after you brush your teeth. Oh, I almost took a bit of the burnt piece. Yeah, I'm not even sure how there was burnt pieces, but. This ain't for me. Not something I would say try, honestly. Like, I believe you can do better yourself if you try to make a on top of bread pizza. Maybe you might have to garlic the bread just so it can hold the sauce and cheese and toppings. But I'm pretty sure you can make a better better one than this, that's for sure. And if you try to do it yourself, you can make a lot more than just two slices, you know what I'm saying? You can make a whole pizza for the same price. I mean, even cheaper probably. But yeah. I'm going to go eat the rest of this and try not to choke because it's kind of really dry. Luckily we got some Sprite. But that was a thumbs down. Not double thumbs down because it was still edible. You know, it, like if you want to give someone something crappy to try give them some of these red barons uh, bread pizza things because they are 
pretty crappy to try. Let me get the box before we... But enough uh, talking about... Sorry, this top of the microwave sticky too. What the heck's wrong with this house? But enough talking about it. Let's try it out. I don't think it's really hot. I think I'd let it cool off enough. Why does that taste plain? It is a little bit garlicky. Like it has these very small hint of garlic seasoning in the bread. One thing is for sure, it's just like a, you know, regular bread, but smaller for some reason. I don't know, it's just like small, half-sized bread with crust still on it. The crust is, I'm not a big fan of crust, so. Let me try a bite with this crust torn off. Look, there's so much crust on this. Even when I tear off a piece, there's not really room to bite. There's not much to bite on the inside. That's crazy. I don't like this idea that much. So, the red bar and pizza, I think that's who made this. Yeah, red bar and pizza, that's who made this. The toppings, it tastes just like a pizza from Red Baron. The only thing that tastes different is the bread underneath it. Like, that's the only difference from the regular pizzas. Now, eating this... Yeah, this will stuff me, like, this will make me feel real quick. Um, probably even just half of it will fill me up, I'm pretty sure, for a good meal. Um, but it comes in that little box, and yeah, as you see, there's only two slices of bread in there. And that was like, that was like seven bucks for that. Six to seven bucks, I'm not even kidding. I think even eight bucks, I, I just don't want to over-exaggerate the price. I'm trying to remember it correctly, but um, not a big fan of it. In fact, there, there's some there's some weird seasoning on that bread, where it's leaving like a burning sensation on my tongue, like after you brush your teeth. Oh, I almost took a bit of the burnt piece. Yeah, I'm not even sure how there was burnt pieces, but. This ain't for me. Not something I would say try, honestly. Like, I believe you can do better yourself if you try to make a on top of bread pizza. Maybe you might have to garlic the bread, just so it can hold the sauce and cheese and toppings. But I'm pretty sure you can make a better, better one than this. That's for sure. And if you try to do it yourself, you can make a lot more than just two slices. You know what I'm saying? You can make a whole pizza for the same price. I mean, even cheaper probably. But yeah. I'm gonna go eat the rest of this.
and trying out the choke because it's kind of really dry. Luckily we got some Sprite. But that was a thumbs down, not double thumbs down because it was still edible. You know, it, like if you want to give someone something crappy to try, give them some of these Red Baron's uh, bread pizza things because they are pretty crappy to try. Let me get the box before we... So now we're going to try as it's in sandwich mode. Um, now as I'm looking at this, it makes me wonder, okay, these might be really awesome if you have some hot sauce to go with them or some kind of sauce that you like to put on food like maybe some sour, even sour cream you put some sour cream when you put these two pieces of bread together and make a sandwich then you'll have something good see so it, either way it goes I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera either way it goes back to the same thing um, you will you know you will make something better with it even with it with it without it but uh, let's give this a try. Sadly, I don't have any of those sauces. But. Yeah. If you add a sauce to it, it would be perfect. And that, that's when you put it on sandwich mode. When you put them together like a sandwich, you got to put sauce in between them. Hot sauce. You can go, you can even mix hot sauce and mm. sour cream. Heck, you can even try um, tomato sauce, you know, pizza sauce on there. I wouldn't try actual, actual pizza sauce, just like a good tasting pizza sauce. You can eat kind of raw. I don't know. I don't know what, if there is one out there like that. I haven't found one, that's for sure. I haven't really tried to look for one, but all the sauces I tried, I don't really like many tomato sauces other than some tomato soup. That's not really a sauce. So, I'm thinking if I did have some sour cream, this would be a thumbs up for sure but since I don't have any sour cream on me yeah it's not that good but and I'm not gonna even even if you know even after learning that you gotta put it together make a sandwich and then we know here that you gotta add some sauce like hot sauce or sour cream it's still I'm not gonna recommend it you know if you want something like that then I suggest you try making your own, you know. And then if you can't quite do it, then and if you want a pizza sandwich, then you can go try try them out, you know. But still, you shouldn't be like <clears throat> excited to try them, unless if you got uh, the sauce with them. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that food review, that quick food review. Well, kind of quick food review we did. I didn't say wash your hands like for two, three minutes straight, but it is what it is. It's a good awareness to put out there. So stay awesome, everyone, and remember, wash your hands. <laughs>
back there. That's because um, I used to have, and if you look outside here, it's all right out around the side too there because it's actually the inner side of the animal, of the tooth. And like, because I had a cap around there and then it was like, I'm gonna bust a cap. No, I'm kidding. Let's be serious, this serious talk. Um, but I had a cap around it and um, well, every time I would go eat a pizza, it kind of pulled off the cap and then almost choked me. And so after like the third or fourth time, I'm like, I'm gonna end up swallowing this cap. So instead of swallowing it, I just put it up in a way. And then instead, what I should have done is get a, like a new cap replacement for it. But instead I decided to, you know, try to take care of it my own and try to brush my teeth even more frequently than I even was. Hold on, you got an interruption coming, I bet. But yeah, instead I tried taking care of myself and I tried brushing it even twice as much because <clears throat> around that time when I got the the cap and everything I was brushing my teeth and everything because I had my teeth finally fully fixed almost there's like only like two cavities left to fix and that's the ones that are growing now but I was like um you know I was like screw it <clears throat> I'll just try to make the cavities grow as slow as possible and that's what happens they grow as slow as possible but they're still going to grow until the teeth pop out or fall out or you gotta get surgery like it looks like kid behind the camera has to so kid behind the camera good luck with that and you know it happens just stay awesome dude